I made this bread, boy. Good morning. Today's gonna be another long day for sure. I work at Brew and Brew from 7 to 4.30. And then I work at 11 till 1 a.m. at the Coconut Club. Hey, how are you? Yes, sir. How's it going? I got the fucking whip bag, let's go! Fuck, I'm stoked, man. I've been waiting way too long, way too long. Hello, I think it'd be important to give you some history about my car up to this point. This story all starts when I moved to Austin, Texas. Honestly, the story doesn't start there. I don't know why I said that. So on June 20th, on the way to work, my car started stalling out. I took it to the shop and I couldn't get it back till July 21st. So right there was like a month without my car. And that was right when I moved to Austin, right when I got my first job. So I had to like Uber around everywhere and stuff and it sucked. But little did I know that was gonna be my new norm. In the middle of September, my car started like stalling out and stuff again. And this time it was really difficult for me to find somewhere to bring it into that could get it fixed in time. So I didn't have a car until December 12th. After that, you'd think I'd catch a break or something, but I ended up just catching a bunch of massive L's instead. To start things off in the middle of January, my car started stalling out again. So what did I do? I went to go take it to the shop. And once again, I couldn't find anywhere that could take my car in soon. So I didn't have a car till February 4th. Finally, I get my car back and I'm thinking, you know, it is good as new. Like I should be fine. The problems are in the past. No, that's not how life works, fellas. Three days later, I wake up and my car is getting broken into, which you can watch live on one of these episodes. I got footage of it. Honestly, in hindsight, a broken window was like the tiniest problem compared to all the other issues I've had with my car. But given the timing and the fact that there's things that were stolen out of my car, it was just so aggravating honestly i go in to get my car fixed about a week or so later originally it was just supposed to be like a couple weeks or so but it ended up turning into like a month month and a half because they're missing some parts so after all that i finally get my car back on march 31st as you just saw you saw how excited i was now let's roll the next clip well looks like my car's fucked again and I gotta take it to the shop so it's not switching gears or anything and I literally have the pedal to the ground and I'm going like 20 an hour oh so fucking annoying man I cannot escape the shit with my car bro not once not twice not thrice but Christ I just took it in today and I should hear back in the morning what's wrong with it. Honestly though, if there's one thing this whole entire car thing has taught me, it's really taught me to like keep a cool head and to learn to just accept the shit that happens to you. I've had to spend so much money on Ubers to work, back and forth, I've missed certain things, I've just had to be cooped up in my room because I haven't had a car to go anywhere and I've learned a lot through all of that and I'm very grateful for it. But at the same time, I'd like to have a car that works. You know, regardless, we're gonna keep pushing on. Enjoy the rest of the video.
Good afternoon. Right now it's about 12.30. Got some work done that I needed to get done. I went to the gym. Now I'm about to drive back home to Houston. Yes. <laughs> Big ass cheesy. Them dimples gonna take it. <laughs> <laughs> he got onto it. Yes. Good morning. I'm about to go get a haircut. My hair is getting too long. Everyone's like, oh my god, your hair is like long and it's like so cute. But like, nah, dude. It's fucking summertime in Texas. I'm not trying to have this long ass hair. Man, fuck. I'm leaving back to Austin now. It was a good time staying. I really love going back home now, especially since I've moved out. It's made me appreciate home more. Yeah, I have my apartment in Austin and whatnot, and that's where I live now. But like, this is like home, you know? This is like where we, you go back to reset. It's just good, and it's especially just good seeing like all the people you love in one place, you know? Every time I go home, it always reminds me how grateful I am to have these people in my life. Overall, I'm just really glad that I got to come back. Good afternoon. Just got off work, went in at 7 a.m., left around two or so, went to an apartment, applied for it. Now, I'm getting ready to work a gig tonight. I am filming a rave. They have like three stages. Should be pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, brief intermission. I'm changing my lens right now. It is 8.49. Can't see my watch. I don't know why I did that. We got all of our model shots done, which is good. I'm pretty tired, but not too bad yet. There aren't a ton of people here yet, but honestly, I think there might be soon. It's also only 9, and usually raves like this and shit don't get popping until like 11 p.m. Are we? <laughs> no. Oh, wait, you're not joking. Actually, I applied for an... So, a bunch of shit's going down on 6th Street. Of course. So now I have to drive around the freeway, which is taking so long. I want to go back home, man. I feel like I'm tired. It is now 3.30 in the morning. I have work at 9 a.m. tomorrow. It was supposed to be 7 a.m., but they let me come in late, so that's cool. Good night. Hello, it's me. Thanks for watching the video as always. As some of you know, this is the last episode of 2030, and let me explain to you why. 2030 was meant to be a 
video series where I document all the things I'm doing, like the film gigs and all that kind of stuff, and just kind of tracking my progress in life in a way, I guess. I think I've successfully done that, and honestly, I'm really proud of myself for doing so. I appreciate everyone who's taken the time out of their days to watch these videos and stuff. With that said, 2030 is ending, but I have something new coming. And I won't say exactly what that is because honestly, I don't know. I'm turning a chapter in my life here soon. I'm about to move out of my apartment in less than a month. I'm just going to be taking a break from this while my life gets all chaotic. I want to be putting out things that are quality and I feel like within this next month I'm not going to be able to do so and before I go completely balls to the wall I want to have a good idea of like what kind of videos I want to be putting out will they be similar to the videos you've been seeing before very possibly but I don't know for sure in the meantime I'm going to be releasing a film here pretty soon I hope you stick around I'll still be posting on Instagram so follow me on Instagram if you don't every day I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to like achieving my dreams and honestly there's times where I literally am at a film gig or something like that and I'm just standing there and I'm like holy Holy shit, I'm doing it right now, you know, like I am living my dreams, like I am doing the things I have like stayed up at night thinking about, and that feels awesome. I'm gonna keep doing that. I'm gonna keep doing that for as long as I can. Thank y'all again for watching. I can guarantee you when I'm back, the videos will be a lot better. Please be sure to comment the circumference of your middle finger. I would deeply appreciate that. I'll see y'all in a bit. Deuce.